come to XPX Labs to discuss the ongoing RTX 4090s like all the other great warriors? Because today that's what we're going to talk about. The RTX 4090. But not like most people where they stick it or try to stick it in computer chassis or PC gaming cases, whatever you want to call it. Today we're going to try and stick it in a Roseville 4U server chassis and see if it fits. But uh got to say, given, this, given that this thing is about as big as my torso, I don't think it's going to fit. I mean, it's like literally as wide as my chest. I mean, come on. Seriously. Come on. All right, let's go get the uh, Roseville for you chassis and see if we can get in there. Now, uh, well, actually, before we do that, quick disclaimer, I'm not actually thinking about putting in there. I just want to do this video for fun just to see if it would fit. And the uh, graphics card it would re be replacing if this were real anyway, it would be uh, like one of these quadro cards that's currently in one of my Unraid servers. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, quite the upgrade. It's, it's kind of big. All right, now let's go get the chassis. <laughs> Here is my Roswell server chassis. This is actually my um, Unraid test server chassis, so not my 24-7, 365 one. The last time I played with this thing, we were doing NVIDIA... I think we were setting up the NVIDIA drivers, maybe? Don't actually know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is looking like it's going to be a tight fit. So, just for a little frame of reference here, uh, <laughs> the GPU is almost as tall as the 4U chassis itself. And the thing that sucks about the Roseville chassis is they have, like, that tray... And then you have the standoffs and then motherboard that this all sits on. So it's going to be pretty tall. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get to work on this thing. Okay, so first things first, we have to remove a crossbar, support bar. Oh, boy. Something fell in there. I don't know what it was. So this bar right here comes in both the older model. This is the newer model server chassis, by the way. Um, but the size of it, so from basically this part back, is the same as the uh, older model, uh, which, by the way, is the superior model. So keep that in mind. But yeah, basically from this part back, they're, they're identical. There's not really any differences here. So... Don't get too hung up on it. But anyway, this bar is basically a support bracket for other GPUs and other things. I don't actually know of a situation when you might want to use that, but um, actually, <laughs> this might be one where you can hold down the graphics card. But the problem is, is that our graphics card is too tall. <laughs> All right, so we need two slots that we need to open up, I think. Because this is actually, it takes up four PCI slots, but I believe we only need two slots for the uh, brackets. So, <laughs> yeah, here's my tiny quadro that, and this is would be replacing it. Holy crap, dude, we're gonna have some major sag. Oh, forgot to remove this. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, there it is. It totally fits. Look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so now, while yes, technically it does fit, there is just the slightest bit of clearance. Uh, we do have one more issue to contend with here. And that is, of course, the 12 pin. How many pins is this? Yeah, 12 pin power connector. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not actually going to plug this in because, uh, as you guys know, this thing is only rated for being plugged in 30 times, which is not a lot. So I actually don't even know how to plug this in. It's on backwards. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. I'm not going to smash down that cable. It'd be awful. I'm not going to even bend this cable. I'm so afraid of this thing when I'm using it, like 
melting and not me not actually being able to use it in my gaming rig. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so big. This is awesome. All right, I got to show you guys some like sweet pictures or some sweet video comparing it. You know, I think maybe, just maybe, if Cable Mod or one of the other guys made one of those reverse um, adapters, like that's a 90 degree one, so that way, it, let's, let's pretend this is one of those Cable Mod ones, it would sit f almost, well, assuming it was thin enough, it may actually be thin enough to fit and plug in, or will fit underneath the lid with the lid closed, and also be plugged into the graphics card at the same time. So it could potentially work because this one, there's not anything to go off by because I, I don't have the cable mod, cable mod one in hand or any 90 degree adapter in hand for that matter. But if I did, and if this was anything to go off of, it may actually fit at a 90 degree angle. Maybe, but I guess we'll never know because we, well, I'm never gonna get one. At least I don't think I ever will, but definitely would be interested. <sighs> All right, guys, yeah. So I just wanna throw this quick video together just to show you guys something a bit different than what everybody else is doing. Could you use this in a gaming as, or could you? All right, guys, so I just want to do something a little bit different than what everybody else was doing with this. Um, could you use this as a gaming or in a... Oh, my gosh. All right, guys, so I just want to do something a little bit different than everybody else and actually try and see if I could fit this in this chassis because it would make for a pretty sweet gaming server if you had that set up. But you would probably need, like, a 5 or 6 U chassis in all reality just so you can get the clearance. But good luck affording one of those five to six U chassis because those things are expensive. And, you know, even the King Roswell chassis here is uh, kind of struggling a little bit with this graphics card. Like it, uh, it fits technically, but <laughs> with the power adapters, you can't do anything with it. Ah, oh, the design of this is so weird. If it was, if the power adapter was actually on the rear, it actually makes sense for once because then it would totally work. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this short video. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll I'll see you guys later on because uh, I want to get this thing stuck in my gaming computer so I can actually play with it because I haven't played games in almost two weeks now because my graphics card has been totally broken. Peace, by the way.